Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome back to Custom Cards, where we teach you to make your own Magic the Gathering cards. Today we're talking about designing set mechanics. Most Magic sets focus on three to five major mechanics and a few minor ones. So how do you come up with mechanics for your set? Because you want your set to feel cohesive, mechanics should usually tie in to your thematic focus. Let's think back to our Norse set from the concepting video. Here was our list of ideas from brainstorming. We want to represent most of these ideas in some way, so let's look for ideas that could support an entire mechanic. Our main focus is on great acts being rewarded with deification. This would make a great mechanic. How would you represent this ascension in a card? The first thing that springs to mind is dual-faced cards. Have the front face be a creature with some difficult condition that, when achieved, transforms it into a god. Is this god a creature, like those from Theros? If so, you may need to restrict this ability to uncommon and higher so there aren't a bunch of indestructible commons running around. If you'd like to have the ability at common, you could tone it down a little bit and either remove indestructible or have the creature turn into a useful enchantment that still feels unique. This approach is similar to the Ascendant Cycle from Saviors of Kamigawa. Feel free to try out those approaches and any others you think of. Design several cards of each version. Now, if one mechanic appears solely on creatures, it's generally a good idea to have another that appears on non-creature spells to even it out. Runes seem like a rich idea for a spell mechanic. Once again, come up with several ideas for how to implement the mechanic and design several cards for each to get a feel for the amount of design space you have. You should also feel free to reuse previous mechanics that fit. Raid could capture the feel of our Vikings, or we could come up with our own new mechanic. We'll probably want to use crew for Viking ships, and we could use fortify for, well, fortifications. Now you have enough mechanics to make a set, but don't stop there. Keep coming up with as many ideas as you can. It's better to have too many than too few. Another thing you need to consider with each mechanic is what it requires of the set. Take Theros Beyond Death, for example. Constellation requires cards that have the mechanic, but moreover, it requires you to have the ability to play a lot of enchantments in one deck. Think about how the mechanics you're considering will impact the design decisions you make, the set skeleton, and interactions with other mechanics. This version of Pillage lets us draw cards, which synergizes with runes you want to draw more of, or runes you want to have one of left in your hand. It could also synergize with our Transform cards, because having more cards in hand lets you more easily accomplish whatever goal they are trying to achieve. However, it has anti-synergy with Crew, because a creature's Pillage won't trigger if it's attacking via ship. Try to consider all the various synergies energies when deciding which mechanics to keep. Some mechanics may need to be scrapped entirely, or some could become minor mechanics that appear on only a few cards. And as you continue into your design, if a mechanic isn't working out, feel free to tweak or replace it. A mechanic should serve the needs of the set, not vice versa. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and let us know what mechanic you would design for this set in the comments. We'll be back next Thursday to start our series on design slots.